Yeah. Your son handled some stuff yesterday. I saw some stuff right, on the air. Right, right. Um, I, I didn't see that, but he, what he really wanted to, to express was our ex uh, gratitude for the extraordinary warmth and hospitality and caring and loving that was expressed uh, to all of us uh, uh, in Charlottesville. Uh, the, Chris is in very, very good hands. He's in just a top-flight hospital, uh, top-flight neurosurgeons, and they've all been just very kind to us and attentive to us and looking after our needs, and I, I can't say enough about how wonderful all that was. I read in the paper that he's able to speak, or he's speaking no. to the family, that's not true. He's able to mouth words, and it's difficult for us to understand them. The staff at the hospital understands him, I think, better than we. Maybe over time we will. Uh, my last um, glimpse of him yesterday, he was mouthing something. Apparently, he needs to know what happened, so maybe I saw him sort of do a, a wah word. Maybe that's what he was asking me. I, I don't know. It was, it was tough. I mean, I could see him struggling, and uh, uh, it, it, it was tough. But he doesn't have, apparently, a memory of the event? Or? I don't think so. I mean, he's been on a lot of am, uh, medications, some of which have a kind of an amnesia effect. So, uh, I, I mean, I think this is fairly typical. You wake up in the hospital and you say, what happened? Mm -hmm. So, um, What's the situation right now? He's got round the, the clock. He's there, apparently, uh, he's in the intensive care unit, the neuro, neuro intensive care unit. And uh, I, I called there this morning, got, spoke right to the desk and to the nurse, male nurse who was taking care of him on this particular shift. And he said that Chris was more alert today than he had been up to this point, and that his answers to questions were uh, extremely appropriate. Well, that and his questions were extremely appropriate. I so. mean, we must be told with that under the circumstances, or we oh, have such varying reports about what's going on. Yeah, sure. Um, I think thrilled is a little strong yeah, word. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I wouldn't use the word right. thrilled. But at least there's a the response there, I guess. Uh, yes, yeah. Have they uh, talked to you about prognosis yet? Or? Well, we had quite a long medical briefing there the afternoon before I uh, came back up here. And by the way, I am going back down just as soon as I pick up my uh, another son who has been in Ethiopia, and we're going back down. Um, so, yeah, various things were, were, were discussed. I think the only area that there might be some improvement is, or, or some, is in this whole area of the of the breathing. I, I don't think Chris is going to regain much, if anything, in terms of um, um, uh, other uh, abilities, uh, the paralysis. Um, that's a nerve function, and nerves, I guess, don't regenerate. But I think what we're looking for is, as um, uh, we're waiting right now for a decision on uh, to, uh, uh, surgery to fuse the top three vertebrae, and that will enable them to sit him up and that will also enable rehabilitation to proceed. Without that, uh, I gather his neck would fall forward, so they have to fuse it, and so his head would hold up. And the, and the reason for doing this is to be able to sit him up and uh, 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 try to help avoid pneumonia. Okay, give me just a second. Um, so you're trying to decide about the surgery right now? They or? are, mm -hmm. yeah. And Chris, 